Good morning, class. Good morning, sir. Before we start our discussion, I would like to call Miss Cortez to lead the prayer. Okay, let's pray. Um, close our eyes and bow our heads. Um, Father God, can be with us today. Fill our hearts with joy. Fill our minds with learning. Fill our classroom with feast. Fill our lesson with fun. And fill our school with love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, thank you, Miss Cortez. So, allow me to introduce myself. I am Nomer Nere Ahento, a pre service teacher. And now, let me check your attendance. Kindly open your camera when I call your name and don't forget to say present. Mr. Philip Dave Kainong. Present, sir. Miss Maria Teresita Cortez. Present, sir. Miss April Indias Flores. Present, sir. And Miss Jaisel Velasco. Present, sir. Okay, great. You're all here today. As our capitulation on what we have discussed yesterday, may I call Ms. Jaisel Velasco to sum up what I've discussed yesterday. Sir, the previous lesson that we tackled was about the different tools and equipment in preparing dessert. Okay, thank you so much, Ms. Velasco. So now, let's proceed on our motivational activity. So this is the instruction. I'm going to flash three pictures or images that are related on what we are going to discuss later. Then, the only thing you need to do is to think or to act any movement that are portraying on what you haven't seen. Okay? So, let's start with this. So, this is the first image. Gelatin. Okay, you're doing great, everyone. Okay, that's enough. Then, we have cake. Alright, nice. Okay, okay. So, okay. okay, that's enough. Then, the last one is Halo Halo. Okay, great job everyone. Thank you for your cooperation with our motivation activity. So, as a question based on your activity, picture perfect, what do you observe? Anyone? Okay, Mr. Kainong. My observation to the activity is more a dessert type. Great, thank you, Mr. Kainong. So last, what type of dessert is best for pie dining restaurant? Anyone? Cheese and gelatin, sir. Okay, thank you, guys. And the objectives are at the end of the discussion, the students may be able to identify the different classification, types of dessert, explain the characteristics and example of each type, and list the ingredients and procedure in preparing desserts. So now, let's proceed on our discussion. Classification, types of desserts, and their characteristics. A meal is incomplete if it doesn't end with a delightful dessert. A simple dessert like slice of fresh fruits, cheese, or any sweets makes us a complete meal. Desserts are packed with different nutrients depending on their ingredients use. Dessert foods often contain relatively high amounts of sugar and fats and as a result, higher calorie counts per gram than the other food. Fresh or cooked fruit with minimal added sugar or fat is an exemption. The first types of desserts is fruits. It is the simplest dessert and one of the best fruits because they are nutritious, appetizing, and easy to prepare. The characteristic of good fruit desserts is appetizer aroma, simple, clean wash appearance, and slightly chilled. The next type of dessert is cheese. Cheese is another excellent dessert that is ready to serve. It is made in all parts of the world from a variety of milk, from cow, goat, sheep. Cheese differs depending on the kind of milk used, the kinds of cheese making procedures, the seasonings and their ripening process. Each variety has definitely character, specific appeal, and a particular uses. Gelatin dessert. These are easily prepared, economically and vary in many ways. Gelatin is marked into two forms. First is the unsweetened, second is the granule type that must be soft and in water base before use. And the fruit gelatin to which flavor, color, sugar have already added. Then we have custard. Baked and soft custards vary in so many ways. Creamy, Delicate baked custards may be served in their baking cups 
or maybe ampled and served with fruits, garnishes, or with dessert sauce. Characteristic of baked custard, we have the firmness of shape, smooth, tender, and texture, richness and creamy consistency, excellent flavor, then characteristic of soft custard is velvet smooth texture, rich flavor, has pursuing consistency of heavy cream. Then the next is the puddings. Puddings are relatively simple to prepare and vary with success or sauce. These are classified as cornstarch pudding, sometimes called blam munch, rice pudding, and bread pudding. The characteristic of pudding is attractive appearance, excellent consistency, well-blended flavor, firmness of shape, and a company sauce to add interest. Then we have the fruit cumblers. These are no fruit pies. They have a diff of 2 or 3 inches are their top with biscuits, duff, rather than being made with pie crust. They might be served either or hot or cold. Then the last we have the frozen dessert. The first, uh, the first frozen dessert is ice cream. It is a smooth frozen mixture of milk, cream, sugar, flavorings, and sometimes eggs. Then we have sherbet and ice. Made from fruits, juices, water, and sugar. American sherbet contains milk and cream, and sometimes it have egg, egg white. The egg whites increase smoothness and volume. Ice contains only fruits, juice, water, sugar, and sometimes egg white. Then we have frozen sophies and frozen mosses. Made like chilled mosses and Bavarians, white cream, beaten eggs, whites or both are folded to give in lightness and allow to be still frozen in any ordinary freezer. So that's the end of our discussion about these characteristics, types of dessert. Okay, so for your activity, this is photo quiz. Uh, I will show images or picture of different types of dessert. Then you're going to identify the description and classification of different types of dessert. You're going to write this on your piece of paper. It's either one fourth or one half sheet of paper. Okay, go proceed to your activity guys. All right, time's up. So, this is a follow-up question for your activity. So, anyone can answer it, okay? What is the characteristic and example of dessert? Okay, Miss Flores. Custard in pudding, sir. Okay, thank you, Miss Flores. So, here's the next question. If you will prepare any types of dessert, how will it be more attractive for you? Oh, anyone? Okay, Miss Flores. I'll make it more sweeter and creamy on outside, sir. Okay, thank you, Miss Flores. As a summary of what I've discussed about classification, types of desserts, and their characteristic, we have the fruits, we have cheese, we have gelatin dessert, and we have custard. We have two types of custard, it's baked and soft. And we have pudding, this fruit cobblers, and on the frozen desserts, we have three. With this, we have this ice cream, sherbet and ices, and frozen sophies and frozen moses. So for the application, I'm going to ask you two questions. You're going to send your answer via chat box or you can write in your paper. Then take a picture and send it, okay? So for number one is, make a list of ingredients and procedure in preparing frozen and gelatin dessert. And number two is a cookery student. How will you make sure that dessert is best to serve in a regular meal before anything else? So I'll give you three minutes to finish that. So, for your evaluation, in one whole sheet of paper, answer the question given. You will answer it by essay form. It's either 3 to 5 sentences or 1 paragraph. I'll give you 3 questions and you will answer it for only 5 minutes. Okay? So, number 1. How to make a delightful dessert using affordable ingredients? Then number 2. How are you going to prepare custard and pudding? Then number 3. How will you apply what you learned today in making dessert at home for a family gathering? I repeat the question from number 1 to 3. How to make a delightful dessert using affordable ingredients?
Number two, how are you going to prepare custard and pudding? Number three, how will you apply what you learned today in making dessert at home for a family gathering? Your timer start now. You may answer it, guys, okay? Alright, time is off. Okay, thank you so much for your answers and I'll check it later. So for this moment, this is the end of our discussion or our meeting for today. Um, thank you so much for participating and for attending my class. And last, for your assignment, uh, I prepare questions and you will answer in essay form. But it's a link. I'll copy the link and send it to your group chat later. So that's all guys. Thank you so much for attending my class and for your class participation. Have a nice day everyone. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir.